Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, October the 22nd, 2015. 22 is a master number. So if it was boiled down to a four, it would be a day of stability. But 22 master number stands as 22, and it stands for being a master builder and a master manifester and being visionary yet practical. So it's a really highly spiritual number with undertones of the number four, which is stability and practicality and you know stability through your hard work and manifesting a solid foundation, which can be like the four of rods, like a stable home or stability in your connection to creator in a spiritual way. Um, but it's kind of like uh, the 22 is a combination of those two. And um, 22 people, if you're born on the 22nd, that's a very, very powerful energy to be born on. So um, congratulations. And it's moon in Aquarius. And um, those are very powerful manifestors also, the Aquarius people. They're an air sign and very mental and have powerful original thinking minds. They are visionary. Um, so I'm going to do the reading for today the way I did the reading for Wednesday. And today I'm going to work with the Archangel Power Tarot. And then it's been a while, so I'm going to pull a beautiful Chakra Insight Oracle card today. These are Karen Sangster, and these are Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine who I just love and adore. So uh, creator, angels, source, please give us a power tarot number, power tarot card for this master number 22 day. So this is a card that's been coming up in one way or another. This would be the Nine of Wands, which is fire. This is the Nine of Gabriel. Um, Gabriel, Gabriel or Gabrielle, however you choose to identify with this archangel, is the messenger angel, and this represents fire in this deck, which would be the rods. Nine of Gabriel, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. And it says environmental, environmental activism. And it's a farmer and he's in his field. And as you can see, there's many, many rows behind him Then he stands in front. So it really represents coming through sort of a lot, a lot, a lot of hard work and sort of feeling, and he looks very jolly and happy, God bless him. And there's Gabrielle behind there and it almost looks like this little white figure here is a little peace dove flying alongside her. And it's sort of like, I'm getting like, this is the peace of mind or the self-esteem that you feel after you've done quite a lot of hard work. And it's like you've been working so hard, it's almost hard for you to just lay your shovel down and let your defenses down. You know, when you're really, really working hard, um, it's not defenses in the sort of conflict, but it's like you're always at the ready and you're just still like ready to go. Like you just can't rest right now. and. I think Gabrielle is saying, you know, to have sort of this inner confidence that you have mastered and you have built something really practical, really stable, um, that you are really, and she's, you know, representing fire, which is passion and Aries, Leo and Sagittarius energy. So you're really independent and confident and passionate and creative. 
and you work really hard and you know it's very external looking at the fruits of your labor but also look at the inside look at the energy of that and gain like a level of mastery and confidence from your interior process your visionary part and having you know the vision and executing the vision and having the confidence and executing the confidence and the passion and executing your work passionately so having said that i would like to pull one of the beautiful chakra insight oracle cards for us so chakra insight oracle for today october 22nd Okay, speaking of visionary, there were two that were stuck together and I was like, is it this one? Is it this one? And um, it is this one. Seeing, perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. And that's what I'm talking about. It's like the master number energy is the seeing clearly, the visionary part. And this is 37 and it's part of the series that deals, I think, um with the um oh gosh is that crown chakra or is that third eye i'm gonna look it up for us real quick here people 37 seeing look with new eyes upon the world you are creating expand your view and your whole reality will grow with it and that's beautiful for that image of the farmer Look with new eyes upon the world you are creating. Expand your view and your whole reality will grow with it. So um, it is the third eye chakra. Spiritual awareness, seeing, insight, visualization, intuition, psychic powers, vision, clairvoyance, and imagination, which are all really representative of the Aquarius moon 22 master number day today. So I hope that was really helpful for you. Um, if you need some help with tapping into your clairvoyance or figuring out your vision or your life purpose or any help with your work, your creativity, please contact me for an energy healing session or at the very least a card reading because I use the cards as a diagnostic tool and I look at the information the cards give us and then I can tune into the energy and then I can tweak your energy with some healing sessions. And those are really, really beneficial because they change your vibration and what you vibe out is what you attract to you. That's the law of attraction. So if there's something you'd like to manifest and you need some help with that, please, please, please send me an email at rasincula at gmail.com. I love you, have a great day enjoy it. It's a really beautiful energy today. Namaste.